These are the credits and the things you'll need to download. All links can be found in the description. First thing you'll do is install the game, but make sure it's not installed in a system folder such as program files. The reason being is that you can run into issues such as lack of permissions depending on the computer. On Steam, click at Steam at the left top, click settings, downloads, Steam library folders, then click add library folder. If you get an error that says it can't be on the same drive, then I suggest making a partition. If you don't know how to do that, I would go Google it. But I do recommend having a big partition specifically for games. Once that's done, you'll need to downgrade. If you're on the Rockstar Games Launcher version, you'll need to use this download, put everything into your main directory, then run the .bat file. If you're on Steam, then simply put this 1.0.exe file in your main directory and replace when you're asked. The reason why you want to downgrade is because certain mods like the portable GTA and Sky Graphics mods don't work without it. Now we'll install some patches and stuff to get it running the best stability wise. The installation for all of these is really easy. Just open up the files and then put all of the files into your main directory, replacing whenever you're asked to. You can deselect any readme files or source folders or whatever exit shits that's in there if you don't want it. You can also install the .asi mods into a scripts folder, but it's not really necessary. A vague explanation of all of these things that you're installing would be Silent Patch and DDraw Component have tons of fixes with them, so I'm not going to explain them all here. Just check out the page in the description to see all all that it does. The widescreen fix fixes FOV, HUD, and aspect ratios whenever you're on a widescreen. Gimport lets you use controllers but properly. I think without this mod you can use controllers but it's pretty shit. One thing that you can do with this mod is go into the .ini file and change the control set to the number 5 to use the GTIV controls. Even if you don't like the GTIV controls, I highly suggest using that. Also, if you're using a PlayStation controller, I would highly recommend using SCP Toolkit to use that controller on your computer. Let me adjust or changes the limits of the games for more stability and stuff like that. For example, if you use a lot of mods, then this can actually be required. Primarily, Vigilante fixes a lot of issues that are tied to FPS. Once you install all these mods, you can simply run the game via the GTA3.exe file or you can just run it through Steam. When you open the game, I would highly suggest going into the display options and disabling frame limiter and enabling widescreen. Once that's done, you can play, but I'm going to give a quick little tip. There are two mods I'm going to suggest here. You can pick between one of them, which would be the SA car cam or the LCS car cam, or the other mod is classic access. The SA or LCS car cam mod basically makes it so you can move your camera around in a vehicle. The classic access mod does that, but it also does it on foot as in whenever you're running around you can move your camera and whenever you're looking somewhere it doesn't rotate your character or something like that in my opinion if you really want to be immersed in the game i wouldn't use the classic access mod because in my experience it can be glitchy for example whenever you aim with a weapon like the sniper or rpg you won't be able to move until you jump or something like that the credits will be on screen as well as at the beginning of the video and I hope this helped. If you have any questions or you run into any issues, just comment down below and I'll try to help you.